Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'll be creating a login screen uh, using Material UI in a very short amount of time. And uh, this login screen is gonna be looking quite decent, pretty decent. And I hope after this video you have a good understanding of how I'm thinking when I'm creating a project using Material UI, like how I am uh, using their components uh, from their component library to get the layout and the style I want. This week I wanted to release a video about in-app purchases for Android, but since I'm still waiting for my Android app to be reviewed, uh, I cannot release uh, the video just yet since I'm still missing some footage, but I'll try to finish it not this next week, but the week after that, since I'll be returning from holidays. All right, but uh, on to this video. So um, currently I'm in a fresh React project here using TypeScript. And just for you guys that are very new to this world, I'm just gonna show you a few commands. So if you're creating a, a TypeScript app for the first time and you want to have all the boilerplate taken care of, you can call npx create react app template TypeScript and then the name of your app. After this, I installed two libraries, one being material UI core and the second one being material UI icons. And uh, I added these two packages using yarn, but you can use npm if you want to. All right, now let's get on to the video itself here. So let me just start up the server. All right, our server is running now. Let's get started with the login screen. All right, so I'm on a complete blank page here and uh, what are my first steps? So the layout I want to create is I want to have an image on the left side and on the right side, I'm gonna have my uh, form inputs for logging in, all right? So I'm just gonna have this div in here. I'm gonna remove this H1, this Ohoi here, and uh, I'm gonna start setting up the layout. So the main component I'm gonna be using is the Greek component, uh, since I'm gonna be using a lot of Flexbox. So I'm going to start off by importing grid here from Material UI Core. Uh, since I imported this, I should get, be getting the autocomplete now from Visual Studio or the uh, auto import, but uh, we'll see. And I'm going to flag this one as a container. So I'm going to be having a flex container here. And I'm going to be adding some <coughs> inline styles here. And that's going to be min height 100 view port height here. And this is basically just to um, make sure I fill out the entire screen so I can center things very nicely. All right. And uh, for my layout, I'm going to be going, um, I'm going to be thinking about mobile when I create this. Um, so as I said before, you'll be seeing a lot of the grid component. Uh, actually, my goal will be when I'm finished with the site and desktop, I should be able to toggle to mobile and it will and it should look just fine. No need for media queries or anything like that. All right, so as I said, I'm gonna be having a image on the left side. So let me first create the grid item here. Actually, I'm gonna have two of these. So grid item, grid item. Let's go to the first grid item here and let's put an XS for 12 here since I wanted to fill out the whole with a mobile, but on desktop, I want to fill it out, fill out half of the, the space, right? All right, and here I'm gonna put my image and I'm gonna copy paste in the image URL here in a second. And now I'm gonna be pasting in some inline styles. So I want this image to fill out the entire space. So I'm gonna put width and height to 100%. And uh, to make sure that it looks decent I'm gonna just gonna put object fit cover on here since when I do with 100% and high 100% uh, I kind of need to cut some of the image to make sure it looks okay all right 
Now let's do an alt, put an empty there. We can we just put brand here, maybe. All right, let's copy paste in the URL for the image. All right, cool. That's looking good. Now let's see how that looks. Okay, looks fine. We have our image here. Now let's jump to the right side of our layout. And uh, just with, as with the left side, we need to add XS12 and SM6 here. So on mobile, we get that full width and on desktop, we get the, uh, yeah, the half of the space taken up. And uh, in here, I am going to be creating a flex container directly as my next element here. So instead of creating some more nested grids, I can actually add the container here to this grid item, making it become a grid container as well as an item, all right? And uh, I'm gonna be adding a little bit of padding here because I wanna be creating some spacing later on. I'm gonna show you why, all right? Here, I'm just gonna create an empty div. This look, might look odd, but this is kind of important for our layout. I'll show later why that is the case, okay? And then here, I'll be creating another div. And actually, I could, no, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm just gonna create a div here, okay? And uh, inside this div, I'm gonna have my form here. So let's maybe just save this, see if something changed. Nothing changed, okay, that's good. Now, let's go here, and then here, inside my form, I'm first going to have the logo, and that's going to be a flex container as well. And the reason that we make this a flex container is because I want to center it, basically. So I can just add a container, prop to my grid, and then put justify center, and it will automatically center. That's very smart. Now I'm going to add in my logo here. And uh, I'm gonna be copy pasting another image URL here. Okay. And uh, this time I'm gonna be assigning a width. And the reason for this is this image is not optimized in terms of sizing. So I need to make sure that I don't go above 200. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, uh, we are up here now. Uh, and that's okay, but uh, that's not kind of the layout we want. So we need to make a few changes here, but I will make those changes in just a moment. I just want to be creating a few form inputs first. So I'm going to be using the text field component for my form here. And uh, I'm going to add a label username here. And I'm going to add margin normal because I'm going to have more than one text input and I want some spacing between these. So let's see, we have username and we have password. Let's save that. Okay. Looks like this. Doesn't look great right now, but we're still missing some pretty key stylings here. All right, so let's jump up to this grid container again. So in order to lay out the stuff the way I want, so I want this one to be in the center here, and I want to have some extra stuff here at the bottom. So actually I want this top area to be empty. That's why we have this div in here that's empty. Because with the right flex properties, we can actually get the layout we want. So if we add align items here and put it to center, and we change the direction to column, and then put, let's just save that for now, see how that looks. All right, we got it centered. Um, but still we need to add a pretty important property which is justify so this time around I'm gonna add space between and uh, whoops now our the stuff is down here and the reason is that we have two elements as the ch child of this flex container so this one just gonna jump on the bottom if I actually put an empty div in here as well we are in the middle okay and uh, yeah, that's due to how this space between uh, property that basically just makes sure that all the items have 
as much space as possible between the between elements. All right, we have our elements centered here. We're pretty happy, but we want to make sure that uh, these form fields, uh, text fields, are uh, going in a column direction, so they're not side by side. And uh, since we are gonna have a layout for the rest of the elements going in the direction uh, from top to bottom, we may as well just add in a flex container here. And I'm just gonna use a div this time around, just to mix it up. And I'm gonna add a flex direction on column here. And yeah, looking okay, looking okay. Um, I'm gonna add a little more styling because um, I, uh, I like the form field not to be too big and not too small, so I'm just gonna put a max width in here, 400. And since that's not gonna change too much, I'm also gonna add a min width here, 300. Yes, this looks a little better, a little more space to type in stuff, and it doesn't feel too big either. Like 400 looks a little overkill, right? So this is personal taste, but 300 it is a good um, is a good solution for me. All right. Okay, cool. So we have our two text fields here. Now we just need our login button, right? But I'm gonna be adding a div here, and it's just gonna be an empty div with a height 20, just to be creating some spacing. And then we can import our button here. And this is the primary action. So I'm gonna add the color primary and the variant contained. And we're just gonna say login here. Whoa, cool, cool, cool. That's looking okay. Now I wanna be creating um, one more button here. And I'm gonna create some more spacing. The other button's gonna be interested in joining. So in case this person is not a member, there could be a button here to link to that. All right. Now these text fields looks a little boring. They're okay. Um, I like adding a little more stuff to it. Uh, one thing we can do here is we can add an adornment. So if for the input props, we can um, actually in here add the start adornment prop. And here we can add input our dormant component and in here we can add an icon and I'm just gonna add oh, I don't have any autocomplete for this stuff so let's just save that and then go up here import from material UI icons okay I want to have a icon for the login so that's gonna be account circle and for the password, I'm gonna use like a lock icon. So I'm gonna pull in lock, the rounded version, just for fun and giggles. And now I can in here reference that account circle. And in here I can reference lock rounded. Let's go, oh, this is like you have an issue. Let's see. Mm, we're missing a prop here. So let's add that one. It's gonna be uh, the position start that we're missing, I believe. Yes, all right. So this prop helps to understand where this adornment should be positioned. We want it in the start. So I just put it there. All right, looking okay. Now, as I said earlier, I want something at the bottom here as well. That's why I've been creating this this layout. So I'm gonna put that stuff down there. And uh, I'm just gonna create something very simple uh, down here. So actually I'm gonna remove this div and then just create a flex container instead with the grid comp comp component. And in here I'm gonna be creating two grid items. And inside one of the grid items, I'm going to make a button 
and in here it's just gonna say go to community page because maybe this website has a community page who knows right and then down here I'm gonna create another button and it's just gonna ask for god password because that's pretty essential to have in your app right so let's save that have a look and yeah the stuff is down here as we expected that's looking good um one problem however is that um, i kind of want this stuff centered and that's pretty easy i can just add justify center here right cool and now since these these are a little close together since the inside effects container i could just add spacing to here and get a little bit of spacing yeah looking good looking good um what else so forgot password for me mm, that's not maybe a primary action but more like yeah but maybe a quite common one if you're on the login screen so i'm just gonna put outlined to that one just to make it a little more uh visible <coughs> and currently stuff is a lot of black and white so could be adding a color here to communities make it blue if that is our brand color all right okay um let me see yeah i think this is uh this is more or less it i think we're done actually guys um pretty pretty simple and pretty fast um this is an example of a login page using material ui um if i was gonna go forward with this login page i would be adding the state of course for these fields right uh, also making sure that actually that the text field for password is type password all right i hope this uh, video was useful for anyone and hopefully i can release this in-app purchase android video in the upcoming weeks all right, see you guys in the next one. Bye.